show? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah. What do you think of that show? I it's crazy, and it? it's wacky. You got it, man. It's very wacky. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. It's crap, isn't it? It's, shoot. It's worse than that. <laughs> worse? Well, there you go. Worse than that. I'm not going to get sued, him. No, no, nobody's going to get sued. <laughs> like I said, I, I think Jerry Springer recognizes the same to be true. You know, he's just a guy picking up a paycheck. You know, he's having a good time. Oprah, do you watch the Oprah show? I watch Oprah. Yeah, no, well, no, no, I can't watch Oprah. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, because if, if you watched Oprah, that means you would be watching it while you were at work, and you wouldn't do that, would you? No way. No, 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 I wouldn't do that. We, uh, the last couple of months, uh, Biff's been traveling all over the United States. What do we call the segment? Biff Henderson's America? Is that what it is? That's what it is. We started out, you went to uh, Bisbee, North Dakota? Bisbee, North Dakota. Or no, no, South Dakota. No. Nope. North Dakota? North Dakota. North Dakota. Then you went to Baker, Nevada. Nevada. Right. It was beautiful there, wasn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And uh, you just got back from your most recent trip, and where was that? Chinook, Washington. Chinook, Washington. What, what part of the state is Chinook? We don't have a uh, uh, map here, or I'd show you my own self. Uh, well, it's in the southwest corner of the state of Washington. Right on the Columbia River? Right on the Columbia River, across from um, Astoria, Oregon. Oregon, yeah. And a beautiful part of the world. Timberland. Yeah, yeah you had a nice time? I had a great time. Okay, ladies great and gentlemen, time. here we go. Uh, our latest installment in Biff Henderson's America. Take a look. <laughs> On the border of Washington State and Oregon lies an old fishing village many travel through, but few actually take in. Chinook, Washington, population 250. I stopped by to see if the American dream could survive the rains of the Pacific Northwest. The first person I met was John Anderson, Chinook's local postmaster. Is there anyone in town who looks like a celebrity? I've been told I look like... Uh... Roy Orbison years ago when I was young and wore black frame glasses. <laughs> All right. Meriwether Lewis and William Clark, with members of their expedition, camped in this area from November 16th to the 25th, 1805. From this point, they saw breakers in the Pacific Ocean and knew that they had completed the mission assigned to them by President Thomas Jefferson. Their overland journey established a new claim for the United States to this region. I visited the cozy home of longtime Chinookers, Mel and Lucille Leback. Mel worked over 50 years in a local cannery. What time do you get up in the morning? Oh, I, I wake up in the mornings around 4 o'clock, but uh, I don't get up till around 7. What do you do with this three hours? Oh, go to the bathroom several times. <laughs> What do you think of uh, David Letterman? I don't care for him. <laughs> I stopped by the dock to make a lifelong dream come true. Excuse me. Hi, what is your name? Jeff. Jeff, is this your boat? Yes, it is. You mind if I see how she rides? Sure. Ha-ha! <laughs> King of the world! of odd things that washed up on the Mike? shores over the How years. How you doing? All right, Mike, tell us about the fence. Well, I made it out of driftwood that I found on the beach and, and stuck the port hole in about a year ago. Come here. Hey. Let's get inside and see okay, what other crap we got. <laughs> okay, I have some uh, old wooden salmon plugs uh -huh. that they, the old trollers used to use. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me about this. Well, this was a whale bone. These are some crab claws I got one year that mutated, and normally a crab just has these two mm -hmm. here, and you can see where they've, they've got three and then and four, actually, where another entire claw was starting to develop on a couple of these. You know, back in New York one time, I found a pinky in the street. Pinky in the street, yeah, a pinky. A human pinky? A pinky, yep. Hmm. I found a human hand on the beach. The Chinook Lounge was the right place to find out what was on people's minds. If you could tell me in two words why you love this bar, what would you tell me? Well, I can't tell you in two words. I, I, I'll tell you it in four words. I love everybody down here. <laughs> what do you think about this whole Clinton thing? I pray to hell he don't get in office. Well, no, again. Because, but he can't run again. No. Yeah, he can't run again. No, because it's, it's just... It's no, just I mean, he can't. He's, uh, this is his second term. Oh, that's right. 
how are you preparing for the for the Y2K bug? Y2K? I got my cousin working on that. <laughs> He's uh, one of the little computer idiots. <laughs> With all this rain out here, you must be spending a lot of time indoors, if you know what I mean. I enjoy showers. <laughs> it was off to dinner at the sanctuary, an old church turned restaurant. All of my new friends were there. Tell you something, Biff. Uh, you do a great job when you go out there, and I'm always very proud that you're representing uh, me in the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Biff Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back here with Brooke Shields. <laughs> Circus in Stockholm. Nej, jag tror vi att rävkulturen egentligen är väldigt sund. Sen gillar jag musiken också. Enja till exempel. Tycker jag är jättebra. Enja är inte rev. Nej, varför kan inte Enja vara rev? Det, det kanske är rev för mig. Det är inte rev. Vad är det då då? Det är techno. Alltså du måste lära dig skilja på rev och techno. Ungarna skrattar ju åt dig. Respekt. Livet står aldrig still. L'Oreal har skapat en flexibel fixering. Nya Studio Line Net Spray från L'Oreal. En revolution. New Elastic Technology. Håret rör sig, men faller tillbaka på plats. Presyren håller utan att klippa. Studio Line Net Spray. New Elastic Technology. Fixerar men låter håret röra sig. För livet är rörelse. Nya Studio Line Net Spray från L'Oreal. L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. Äntligen en CD med alla riktiga röjar hits After Ski Party Fylld med klassiker som Opus, Village People Marco Leo Vi drar till fjällen, Dr. Alba Dagvar Eddie Grant, Paradisio Den bästa party-cdn After Ski Party Enter the Drew innehåller hitten How Deep Is 
country free from the free tyranny of, of foo. Free of foo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, golly. Oh, did I tell you who's on the big show? Brooke Shields will be out here in a couple right. of minutes. And then also have this explorer, Peter Hillary. He's an explorer? Explorer. Son of uh, Sir Edmund Hillary. Really? Oh, his son. Yeah. And he, uh, he had a, an idea for a new way to the South Pole and uh, tried it out. And we'll talk to him and see how that went. Right. So to me, it seemed like you only need one way to the South yeah. Pole. Just down. Go down there, turn south. That's it. Yeah. Hit the equator, make a left. That's right. That's or if you're coming from the other way, make a right. But pretty yeah. much below the equator, it's going to be that down, way. Down, yeah. Well, that huh? be interesting. It'll be what? interesting to get oh, here and find out. Yeah, I'll take New it. New way to the yeah. south. <coughs> all-time Oprah singing, all-time Oprah dancing. <laughs> Our first guest is the star of her very own television program entitled Suddenly Susan, which uh, you can see on another network. Please welcome the always lovely... Brooke Shields. Brooke? How you doing? Boy, you look, uh, you look Polynesian or something, you know? I just thought it was a rainy day, and I would, the first day of March, I just thought I would... Is today the first day of March? It is, yes. I'll be darned. Isn't it amazing how time just blows right by? Well, it's been a long time since I've been here. How long has it been since you were here? Uh, very, almost three years, I think, or a little over three years. Now, when that happens, when we have a big star like yourself who doesn't come on the program regularly, it means mm -hmm. only one thing, that I've pissed you off somehow. You... Yeah. <laughs> And we had to send you a lemon tree. Did you get the lemon yeah, tree? I got the lemon tree. Hey, you can be, wh whenever I upset um, a big star, you're going to get a letter from somebody with my name on it, of apologizing for whatever it happens I, to be. And you get a lemon tree. Uh, I actually, there is no reason. I was wondering why I hadn't seen you. I guess I've sort of been sequestered in California. Well, you've been very, very busy. I've been very busy. I've been extremely, extremely 
Yeah, because you've got your uh, you got your marriage to Andre Agassi, yeah. and you have your uh, television program, which you're now exactly. uh, producing as well as starring in. I so am. Well. It's uh, it's our third season, and it's. How's that going over there, Dan? You know. <laughs> Is it good? You're sweet. Um, it was. It's going. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. How's it going over here? Oh. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean that that way. <laughs> no, you know, I'll tell you, never, between you and me, I'm lucky to have a job. Uh, I feel, actually, I feel that way almost every day. I just, uh, it's our third season I'm producing now. I've got a, uh, you know, many ideas. The first two years, I kind of kind of kept my mouth yeah. shut, so... Now I've got, I'm much more verbal. I am. Um, what, what is the show? Set the scene for the show. For the kids who are interested in the show, what, what is it? What well, are you, Suddenly uh, Susan, you're Susan? S I'm Susan. Right. <clears throat> suddenly Susan stems from our first season where she, uh, so you're a fan of the show, I can, I can tell. You know. <laughs> Just, I, um, and I leave my husband. I have to take <laughs> a lot of prescription medicine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the show, it starts off with me leaving this guy that I'm going to marry at the altar. Right. And basically, she is suddenly single and suddenly on her own. And uh, now The world turns upside third. down, and there she is. And there Ready she is. Go. And so the third season, It's a classic it's, story, isn't it's it? It's very classic. Yeah. We deal with uh, social mores. You know? have, have, you, uh, have you ever been in that position where you were very, very close to getting married, and then all of a sudden, because you changed your mind or the guy changed your mind, adios, geschwinkto. Not, pr uh, not prior to being engaged, but you know, you're just. I've been yeah. in the position where I've been feeling that it was, it was just about to happen, and it didn't happen. You, you know, uh, you're married to uh, Andre Agassi. How's that uh, going? Good. It's, it's going well, yeah. very well. It's you know what? Two, two years. This is. You uh, haven't seen me in such a long time. I've seen. I listen to this. Here, here's how dumb I am. I was in Indianapolis uh, last year for uh, my mother's uh, birthday party. Gosh, that was a fun day. <laughs> Try the meat? <laughs> no, I didn't get a chance to try the meat. Um, and and I'm at the hotel, and and I, I see uh, your husband. He's in town for the whatever, whatever uh, tournament. You know? They're all, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, and, they're all and, every and, week. And he's he couldn't be nicer to me. And we're chatting and we're chatting and we're chatting for like 15 minutes. I have no idea who I'm Don't talking to. Bet. I have no idea who I'm talking to. I'm just going, uh -huh, great, good. And I'm thinking to myself, that's not Andre Agassi because Andre he was tall. I did, and I remember him as not being quite so tall. And he had I a felt head like, like, like yours. That's right. He, he <laughs> falls. Head. Yeah. I felt like a complete boob. So he actually he said he he told me about that. He called me and he said you, you were so nice, but he had the feeling that yeah. you did not have a. No, I was gone. It, because it was an elevator thing, and there's always That's that right. moment at the elevator when you you panic mm -hmm. because someone says something to you and you feel the pressure, and then you know you've got basically if it, you're getting in the elevator the whole ride up to, to <laughs> deal yes, with I the fact like that you jerk. have no idea. Who well, the person apologize is. because I uh, felt like I'm, a complete dork. You know, well, we just, so. we're just <laughs> we're so just you guys live in Las Vegas, don't you? We're uh, Vegas, LA. For, I'm with the show with the show in LA mm -hmm. from um, August. Now you live in Las Vegas because you love to gamble. Is that uh, what it is? <laughs> We sort of, that's where he was born and raised, mm -hmm. and so until his tennis is over, that's sort of basically where he's based in the, um, with the training center and with everything. And so it's the proximity to, you know, Los yeah. Angeles is good. So. It's, it's like America's fastest growing city. People love the area, don't they? It, you know, yes. I mean, it's the desert, yeah. and it's, I'm from Manhattan, you know, so it's, it was definitely an adjustment for me. I'm sort of I'm much more a New Yorker, yeah. you know, through and through. But <laughs> big bitch with my pinky. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, got, I got something that I want to ask you, but okay. we don't have time right now. All right. So I have to wait till uh, after the commercial. I'm not going and, and I hope I, I hope that this doesn't annoy you when I ask you this. Okay. Or we'll no, just see. I, I'm not. I'm not. I know you're a good I sport promise. so far. Thank you. We'll be right back here with Brooke Shields. <laughs> <laughs>